The stocks to benefit from the AI boom, according to Bank of America, are these 12. Let's have a look. Actually, they're giving us 20, even better value for money, not like a bank to give you value for money. I'm going to analyze every single one of those based not just on their criteria of fundamental valuations, revenue growth, cash flow, but I'm going to look at the price charts as well and see uh, where the momentum is going in these and if the rest of the world has seen what Bank of America thinks is within those companies. So let's go through them one by one and don't forget to follow, like, share, retweet, repost, rehash, whatever it is. Adobe, okay, price target, now I own this, price target they've got $400 on that and I'm going to say yes I think that will be one of the winners uh, not least because when I look at the fundamentals they're all there but actually even more so when you look at how oversold it is on the monthly MACD a measure of momentum you can see it rising on the weekly stochastic as well so in the short term and the longer term and I'm looking at 12 month holdings this is a yes Adventest don't know this one, GPUs, graphic processing units, uh, big target for that that they've got. Uh, I don't really have enough data on this, so I'm going to have to give this a pass, I'm afraid. Alchip, $72 billion company, Taiwanese. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, whoops, secretary hasn't put the chart up. Uh, but again, on this one, you can see where it's been going. You can see the general upward trend in the right direction. It does meet the demand for chips, and it does actually meet the fundamental criteria of value, growth, and income as well. So let's go that go that way. Alphabet, one that I own, and of course, you know, everything going on. This is less so an not just an AI play, it's broader than that. It's been whacked, obviously. It's dropped 45% from peak to trough. And that means if it goes back to all-time highs, which it will, it's going to double your money. Even if it took three years to do that, that's fine, let alone the fact that it's oversold. So don't need to spend more time on that one. It's a yes. Apia Group as well. Uh, it's an AI software company, 191, 92 billion. Uh, the trend is in the right direction on that one and i'm going to give that a yes as well i think bank of america are right on that one uh, apple well you all know apple don't you so i don't need to go into it much i'm um, again i wouldn't think of it just purely as an ai play or at all uh, but i own it it's one of my more fundamental ones even though some of the revenues and valuations are a bit expensive it's still in there uh, arista networks you will have heard of and let's just have a look at the price on that one. Nice upward trend going up well. Bit overbought. To, so a little bit of short-term concern. Uh, but I think that trend will continue as with some of the others. ASML Holdings. By the way, I think the whole thing about AI is going to become massive. It's going to become a bit like what the crypto craze was. It's just going to be not just a buzzword, but it is that big. I think it's the biggest thing since the internet. ASML Holdings, something which I've held a long time ago in the past. Uh, where are we with that one? And the chart oversold, as you can see there, the MACD should be rising up and therefore that should go back to all-time highs. I'm not saying it necessarily be this year, but it should be in that direction. Baidu, the Chinese company, bit of a play on China, let alone AI, and it should benefit from AI as well. I'm going to give that a yes as well. Again, because the MACD is oversold. That's the main reason for that. Hoya, supply of EUV, extreme ultraviolet mask blanks, and there's a bit of AI shoved in all of that as well. I know everyone sounds as if they're going to say AI all the time. Uh, now, I've got too little data on this. Can it go back from 102 to 152? I think it will. I think, if nothing else, just on hype, it will for Hoya. Meta, well, you know what that is. And it has been going as well. We picked the bottom over there. If you've been following my YouTube channels and everything else, you'll know this from previous videos where that bottom was and what we thought would happen. And it's accelerating at a faster pace than we thought. Uh, so it's in that direction and they may well pivot from that stupid augmented reality nonsense uh, and the metaverse into AI and I think they will pretty sharpish and those two overlap. Microsoft I own have bought some more and continue buying and it's a yes, hell yes uh, for that one. MACD's oversold as well. That's going to hit an all-time high within 12 months, okay, with Microsoft. Nice systems. 
Where are we on that? Oversold, I'm going to give that a yes as well. 212 to about 300, 280 should be the price within about 18 months. Nvidia I own as well. You saw what I thought would happen. I've drawn it on there from previous broadcasts I've done on YouTube and my Telegram channel. If you don't know where those things are, well, just go to those links and you'll find all of my YouTube channels and Telegram links and everything else. And what we found with Nvidia is it's well on track and it's made us... I think it's been one of our best performers so far this year in a market which has been quite volatile. Palantir, company my wife knows quite well, and uh, it's been going sideways. It's just not lifting up, but I don't have a problem with this one. I won't necessarily say it's going to go from 8 to 33. I don't think it's going to quadruple in price, uh, but I'd keep hold of this if I already held it, and I might wait if I don't hold it, and I don't hold it at the moment. Key and Jean. Okay, cybersecurity company, and again, my assistant is going to get sacked. Uh, that's pretty high in terms of valuation. If you want to do the uh, overseas Chinese market play, then I don't have a problem with this one uh, in that regard at all. Okay, Rel X, uh, which used to be Reed Elsevier. That's uh, so where we are there. Uh, $58 billion giant company oversold over here that chart's not very useful is it oversold over there and could well resume upwards i'm going to be neutral on that one sap you're all familiar with it and it is again oversold and it's in the right direction and can it go from 117 to 150 i will say yes in 12 months shutter stock Again, probably you're familiar with this in terms of images and all of those things. It's not really, again, I don't think of it as AI in the way Microsoft is moving into that space, but it's oversold. And 75 to 100, that'll give you a 33% return. I'm going to give that a yes as well. Taiwan Semiconductor, I own as well. And where are we on that? Oversold, going from 90 I reckon, to about 130. Yes, indeed. Which are the ones on my approved filtered list? Arista. Relics and shutter stock. Okay, uh, just to go over those again. Arista, mm, bit neutralish on this one. Uh, Relics, that was more of a yes to neutral and shutter stock. I said yes, it'll go back up. So those were on the approved filtered list, which is my list, which is even more stringent than Bank of America, where it goes through value, growth, income, cash flow, and the like. So it met all of those criteria. Don't forget to look at my campaign for a million where I give you lots of free information and materials uh, on investing and also the, that upshipital.com forward slash links as well. Thank you all very much for watching and listening.